In this video, we'll talk about composite functions. So first, let's suppose we have two functions. One function is called g, and one function is called f. And g is a function that maps, for example, a to b. So in this case, g of a would equal to b, right? Because g is a function that maps a to b. This is the input, this is the output. And let's say f is a function that maps b to c. So for function f, b, if b is the input, c will be the output. So f of b would equal to c. All right. So say we have this function. Right. So first we have a function g that maps a to b basically maps a to g of a, right? Sorry, g of a. Let me write this. So maps a to g of a, because b is g of a. Then we have the function f that maps b to c. In other words, we're mapping g of a to f of g of a, right? Okay, so f of g here is a function that maps a to c. So this function is the composition of f of g. We call it f of g here. And f of g of x is equal to, you can find it like this right here, f of g of x. Okay, this is the definition of a composite function. So now let's uh, give a more specific example. So say we have two functions, f of x, let's say equals x plus 1, and g of x equals um, x squared, for example. All right, so what if I want to find f of g of, let's say, 2, for example. So what is f of g of 2? By definition, that is f of g of 2, right? So the input here is, the input for g is 2. The input for f is g of 2, right? So to find f of g of 2, first you have to find what is g of 2. Well, let's do it on the side. g of 2 is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. So here I will find what is f of g of 2. That's f of, replace g of 2 with 4, 4. Then you know how to find f4. Plug in 4 into f. That's 4 plus 1 equals 5. Okay, similarly, another example, if I say, what is g of f of 2? Well, you may think they look pretty similar. Are they the same thing? Well, let's see. g of f of 2, by definition, that will be g of f of 2, right? Okay, so g of, what is f of 2 here? f 2 is to plug in 2 on the f. So f of 2 will be 2 plus 1, which is 3. So now we're going to replace f of 2 here with 3. Right? So then you will have g of 3. G of 3 is equal to plugging 3 into G, 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, uh, last example. What if I want to find the exact function? So still, given the same two functions, F and G, and here I want to know F of G of X. What is the whole function of F of G? Right. Okay, by definition, f of g of x is f of g of x. 
All right, so what is g of x here? Well, g of x, we know it's x squared. So I'm going to replace, I'm going to re replace g of x here with x squared. So it becomes f of x squared. So now I'm going to replace x in the function f with x squared. So f of x equals, look at here, f of x equals x plus 1. So replace x with x squared, I will have x squared plus 1. So f of g of x is equal to, it's a new function, it's x squared plus 1. Okay, let me do it backwards. What if I have g of f of x? All right, similarly, by definition, g of f of x is g of f of x. All right, so first of all, what is f of x? Well, f of x equals x plus 1. So replace f of x with x plus 1. Now, g of x plus 1 is to replace x in the function g with x plus 1. So g of x is x squared. g of x plus 1 should be x plus 1 squared. Replace x with x plus 1. So x plus 1 squared. If you follow this or expand this part, you will have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So g of f of x is x squared plus 2x plus 1.